Hello everyone, We're, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Camille Trent. We're working on a hot and cold desert sky today. These are just fun little practices that you could do when you're trying to learn how to deal with wet on wet technique as we're doing a lot of blending of the color. So let's get started. Okay, so I have a piece of, piece of Arches 100% cotton cold water pressed paper. It's 140 pound. It's about six by nine inches. I taped it down with the blue tape and divided it in half. This side will be hot, this side will be cold. So let's work on the hot. I have medium yellow here. Uh, this is a cadmium yellow pale hue, alizarin crimson, and this is the Winsor Newton Cotman cadmium red hue. I've mixed some of this yellow on the cadmium, put, made some orange over here. I'll probably use some of the blues up here, but we're just gonna start with the yellow. And I just kind of sketched in like a little simple, you know, kind of mountainous shape. Grab some of this yellow and a little medium yellow. And I use paper towel to dab, as I showed you before. I grab some water. I'm just gonna go across the bottom here. It's a little bright, so I'm gonna tone it down. And I'm gonna actually Put some water up here, even though it's yellow, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna clean off the brush, add the water up in here. So I'm blending this color. So put the yellow down first. Obviously, that's the brightest part, like the sun's coming up or sun setting. Grab some orange, I'm gonna go across. I'm gonna really nice, we're gonna try and blend this nicely so it doesn't have those hard edge bleeds. And this uh, Arches Cold Press is great for that. The cotton paper. It, the uh, other kind of papers just don't hold it right for wet and wet. Gonna add some red. Keep blending this. So keep blending it up. Adding the red. And it's pretty intense red, like bright, so I'm going to tone it down a little brown. Or you can add some green in there. I got some hooker's green over here. It's going to make it more of a brownish red. I'm going to pull it up here. And still I want that orange, so I'm going to put this cadmium red hue, which is kind of like an orange, not really like a red red. Kind of like an orange red. Put this down in here. Just gonna keep blending this. And I'm using my Neptune number 12 brush. Just keep blending that. Getting this red color. I want it to blend nicely. And up top, I really want it darker. You could add some gray or you could add some blue. Uh, this is the indigo. And you could add some of the, <coughs> uh, not the raw umber, sorry, grab the wrong one, burnt umber. Put it over here. So it's not such a purpley color. Get that up here. Clean off your brush. I'm going to dab it on a paper towel. I'm going to grab some of this paint. I'm going to try and blend this in nicely. Kind of an ombre effect to it. I added some of that medium yellow. A little blurb got there. I'll just take that away and go back. Again, I'm adding that cadmium red hue because it makes it look more orange. And I'll blend that cadmium red up here. Give it that fiery sky. Now you can add like intense black up here or some purple just to get that dark, dark black part. You want it to be pretty intense. Bleed in. It's black. 
tense sky. Getting that real intense looking sunset. I'm cleaning off my brush. Grab some of the crimson, put it up in here. Some of the burnt amber. Getting that real intense sky. Cadmium red hue. Clean it off, it's getting a little too muddled. Dabbing it on paper towel. And that yellow orange. Taking some of it away because I want it to have this weird metal effect. And I'm going to grab some more of that orange. I mean the yellow. Mix it. It's like fire, the sky. That's what we're going for. Going for that look. Intensity. Even still darker if you want it up here, darker. You put that indigo. Bleeding into this. Just dabbing it. Letting it bleed. Get that intensity. There we go. Now I'm going to start to paint down here, but I'm not going to hit that edge. I'm going to do that yellow with the orange. Okay. Mixing them together actually on the paper. Adding the yellow. That cadmium red. And the yellow. And adding the cadmium red down here. This part doesn't matter so much because we're going to be painting like black over here. Now, see, this had made the little. Let me zoom in. It's starting to dry with the crest. You have to go take your paper, well, uh, paintbrush, dab it on the paper towel, clean it off with water. Just go in and push that around so it blends. You don't want that edge. You want it to have a nice blend. And this one we could add on the sides here some intense color. This one kind of bled like spider means. So I might want to mush that around. Get rid of those little spider veins. So it'll have the intensity, but it's not going to have those horrible veins. I'm going to add some of the brown over here. This is the burnt amber with crimson. Mixing it in. The intensity. This is the hot, hot desert. Sky, and then we're going to do a cool, cool desert sky. Get that yellow right in the middle. I'm, see, I'm taking the paint away like a mop, and then I'm going to add the yellow back in. Just blending it like so. All right, we're going to leave that one. And we're going to head on over to the blue sky. Okay, for the blue sky, oops, got a little 
orange on there, but that's okay. I've got some turquoise over here, this color, some water. I'm gonna wish, wash, but I'm gonna leave like a triangle kind of mountain, like where the, the sand dunes or the desert part would go. I'm gonna get this all wet. Actually, I'm gonna pull it down a little more. And you can fill this whole thing in with turquoise. And get it all wet. And start doing layers also. I have some of this uh, cerulean blue hoo. Bleh, blue hue. <laughs> blue hoo. Little Cindy Lou hoo. Blue hoo. Let me add that in. We're building upon this one too. Ultramarine. Really get that pretty intense. And you can add the indigo on top. Get that pretty intense. Maybe a little violet. Because we're in the blue, blue hues now. So you can add some violet. Clean up the brush. Get some of that. I have this great bright uh, turquoise from the PH Martins. Could add that in. Want it more intense on the bottom where this is. And it's going to do that. Look at that. It's going to brighten that right up. Just blend it going up. Can add some more of the cerulean blue in there. Tone it down if it's too bright. that intense color. And this paper really lends itself to blending really nicely. If you're using the cheaper, this is where the cheaper papers fail. So, now a little more indigo up here. We're gonna let these dry and then come back and start playing around with the rest of it. Okay, so we left this dry. We're actually gonna use yellows and, oops, that's a little too much blue on there, so I'm gonna green, take that off. Getting back these orangey yellows again for the desert. I'm just gonna fill it in with cadmium yellow medium. Add a little brown to it. Get that deserty color. Just gonna fill this all the way in. And then we're gonna blend it. Gonna add some of that burnt umber back of it. That shadow. Down here. A little bit of that cadmium red hue to so give it that orange. Blending. Some of that brown again. Giving that light yellow here. And the sun is shining on the desert part. 
of setting basically. Keep playing with adding some red. Take it away. Clean my brush off. Add a little more of that pale yellow and take some of it away. Like a mop. Using it like a mop, as I've shown you in many tutorials. You just dab and take that paint away. And get that light shade effect. What are you going for? All right, over here, I'm going to do a blending again because I wanted to add black or hooker's gray. So we're gonna add some black here. It's not intense enough. Actually, this is hooker's gray. I'm gonna have to add some black. You get that silhouette of the mountain. I'm gonna blend it just like this down. Keep adding that a little more. Blend it. You want to add we're gonna be adding some when this is dry, some cactuses. Or cacti. <laughs> so the sun is setting. Get that part here. We're gonna let that dry. I'm gonna grab a smaller brush. Let's see, I will grab my uh, I'll even grab my Grumbacher number two brush. Get the hookers, I mean, let's, excuse me, Payne's gray or black. Black mixed with Ingo. Get it pretty deep. I'm gonna draw a little, I guess they're called Sequoia cactus. I forget the name of them. Put one guy here. so easy to do. If you hear any banging, <sighs> teenagers, yep, that's the noise of a teenager testing the mother's patience. A couple of these. And my dog. Everyone's in the studio driving me nuts today. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking for attention. I'm gonna put this one up a little higher because that was looking like a fork. Can even do like another smaller cactus. These kind of I don't know the name of them. If I like that cactus, but we're sticking with it for now. And now we're going to add the galaxy stars. I use a uh, white gouache as always. You see some right here. Get it wet. Not super wet because it won't be opaque. It'll be more translucent. 
In this one, I'm not going to do any splattering. I'm going to add the actual dots. Oh, I just noticed this has a splotch. Take a pip towel and dab that. That's fine. So we'll just do like little stars, little teeny stars. This one we could do like a shooting star and add the little stars. All over the place. So it's sunset, nighttime in the desert. could even put the little white moon here if you want. With the gouache. Now, I'm still not sure about this cactus, but at this point, it doesn't matter. So, we're going to peel this up. Reveal our masterpiece. Desert sky. Two ways. Hot and cold. That bled a little bit. That's okay. You can always take that off. And there you go. The desert, hot and cold. So I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for stopping by.